Greetings, Guardians. This is Kit Kutcher with the Massive Breakdown Podcast and Destiny Tracker. And I am here today to talk to you about how to prepare yourself to make that transition to Destiny 2's PvP. Destiny 2 PvP, as we've already seen in numerous videos, is going to be a shock to the system for many Guardians. It's got that same core Destiny feel. It's got that, that awesome sauce we all love. But new mechanics, different mechanics, slower time to kill different movement, all kinds of things are going to be changing, and we're going to have to adapt in some big ways. Now, a lot of that, there's just no way that we can really prepare for it, except by actually getting our hands on the game early in that beta. So your number one way to prepare, obviously, is to pre-order if that's something that you're interested in doing. I'm not here to sell you Destiny, though. If you, if you are already planning to play it, I'm here to talk to you about what you can do right now in Destiny 1 to get yourself ready to make that transition. So we're gonna talk about two things for the most part. We're gonna talk about first, weapon loadouts. What choices you can make to prepare yourself for the weapon loadout changes coming in Destiny 2. Second, we're gonna talk about abilities, cooldowns, and subclasses. Because there are obviously a ton of changes coming in Destiny 2 for all of those things. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to make some changes to the way that we play the game in order to, uh, to get the most out of it. So let's dive right in. First off, number one thing you need to do to prepare for Destiny 2 PvP, change your loadout. Destiny 2, we're not going to have this same primary, special, heavy economy going on. We're going to have essentially two primaries and one power weapon replacing that heavy weapon slot. So snipers, shotties, fusions, no longer going to be your go-to weapons. And they're all going to be at least a little bit different in Destiny 2. There are going to be some changes to the feel of those weapons. We don't know exactly how that's going to play out for shotguns and fusions for the most part. Uh, snipers seem to be somewhat the same. We'll see, how, well, we'll see what happens in the beta. But we don't want to rely on those weapons for our primary uh, combat tools. Big change, hopefully for the better. Uh, on the other hand, sidearms and the new submachine gun class are going to join the current primaries in the kinetic and energy slots, which are going to be our two primary options. So here's my recommendation for you. If you want to start making the transition in playstyle to Destiny 2's new economy, you're going to want to run your choice of primary, be that a hand cannon, a scout rifle, an auto rifle, or a pulse rifle, all of which are going to be fairly similar to the current models that we have, as well as a sidearm in that special slot and then go with either a rocket launcher, a sword, or even sleeper simulant in your heavy slot uh, just to, to try and get something that's going to feel fairly similar to what you'll have available in Destiny 2. Now if you really want to snipe or shotgun, if you're planning on, on just going hard for those power weapons in Destiny 2, you think you can make that work for you, I say more power to you. My recommendation there is that you just don't use a heavy weapon then. I mean, carry a sword if you have to put something in that slot, but just try not to use it. Try to focus on your primary and your special only. The other thing is really you want to watch... Uh, relying too heavily on that special ammo to get kills because it's not going to be nearly as available in Destiny 2 as it is right now even in the current Destiny 1 ammo economy. Now if you're if you're wanting to make that transition to to focusing on double primary play and, and you know going with a primary weapon and a sidearm but you're just not a fan of the Wormwood which obviously is everybody's uh, favorite favorite sidearm right now. I suggest trying Crow's Eye or Teacup Tempest. They're going to feel a little bit closer to hand cannons, and so you can get a little bit closer to that same slower time to kill, uh, double primary play that you're going to have to adapt to if you want to succeed in Destiny 2. So that's loadout. That's that. Let's dive into the second part of this, abilities and cooldowns. Now, abilities are going to be changing at least a little bit for all subclasses. We don't know all of the details yet. We haven't had the opportunity to really get numbers, make recordings, any of that stuff. And even abilities with the same name may do some things a little differently or very differently in Destiny 2. Also, timers that we have seen are much slower than we can get them to in Destiny 1. That may change with exotics and other, other loadouts, but at least what we've seen from the reveal so far, we have to anticipate that we're not going to be able to spam grenades and melees in the same way that we do right now. So my suggestion here is that you spec for Tier 3 across the board, if not lower. 
to really focus hardcore in your primary play and, and try to avoid crutching on the some of the great abilities that we have right now you might even try running all green or all blue armor to lower your uh, to lower your stats and slow those cooldowns down to a more destiny 2 type level uh, now following on that we also have to consider subclass choice we know there are huge changes coming here for destiny 2 in particular one of the biggest the taken king subclasses might be completely gone we don't know yet we haven't seen any sign of them though a Defender also appears to be completely gone, replaced by the Sentinel. Sunsinger is definitely gone, replaced by the new Dawnblade subclass. Uh, and Supers are also going to be changing, even for the classes that are sticking around. Uh, Strikers obviously being the notable example that we already know about with multiple slams, uh, with Shoulder Charge you know, perhaps being part of that Super. Uh, so here's my recommendation for subclasses. I suggest that you focus heavily on your choice of Gunslinger, Striker, or Voidwalker as they're likely to play fairly similarly to the way that they do right now. Now if you're really psyched for that new Dawnblade class, you want to go throw flaming swords at people, and I can't blame you, I, do, I want to do that too. Uh, you might also consider using Sunbreaker as a stand-in with Twilight Garrison as your exotic chest piece there so you can get that in-air dodge ability that'll be built into the Dawnblade subclass. Um, Sunsinger without Selfrez also has some similarities, but keep in mind Selfrez is completely gone in Destiny 2. We've got no sign that that ability is going to exist on any subclass at all, and I can't blame Bungie for deciding that that just made it too hard to balance PvE content uh, against how friggin' awesome it is that you just come back from the dead anytime you like. Um, so big, big changes there. Again, let's, let's just recap all of this. Number one, change your loadout. Go with a primary, a sidearm, and your choice of rocket launcher, sword, or sleeper simulant. If you really want to snipe or shotgun, uh, then I recommend you don't use heavy at all. Second, slow down your abilities. Change up your armor so that you're, you're specking for tier 3 across the board. You might have to use some blue armor to do that. You can even go hardcore and run all blue or all green armor to really slow your ability cooldowns down. Finally, subclasses. Again, focus on Gunslinger, Striker, or Voidwalker. Um, or consider running Sunbreaker with Twilight Garrison as a stand-in for Dawnblade. Alright, Guardians, I hope that you enjoyed this video. That's all I've got for you for now, so hopefully this gave you some fun ideas to try out again. These are not hard and fast rules. I encourage you guys to share in the comments your own ideas, how you're getting ready to prepare for Destiny 2 PvP or PvE, because obviously we've got, we're going to have a ton of content. That's where I'm going to be diving into first. Uh, for a more in-depth discussion of some ways that you can prepare for Destiny 2 PvP, including detailed subclass perk breakdowns, insights from the gameplay reveal, and more, I suggest that you tune in to episode 45 of the Massive Breakdown Podcast with myself and Mercules from Reddit. Uh, for more awesome Destiny content, of course, you also want to keep it right here at Destiny Tracker on YouTube. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please use your mouse to click on the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below. This is Kit Kutcha for Destiny Tracker, signing off.